Hello, hello. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it very much. So the Line 6 Pod Go can be a little bit limited in terms of complexity of how a preset can get compared to obviously the Helix. So I've been working on a preset today um, to see how far I can push the Line 6 Pod Go in terms of gain structure and maybe tonal variety if you want to call it that within a preset. So we're going to be taking a look at the preset and uh, yeah, um, I might make this available for free on my Line 6 Custom Tone. I will have to change the, um, the impulse response because I am using a third party impulse response. But I will we'll get into that as the, uh, as the video goes on here. So the guitar I'm using in this video is my lovely uh, Gibson R9. There you go. Just catch the flame nice in the light there. Stunning guitar with custom buckers in. So there you go. Um, so the amp I'm going to be using in this uh, patch or preset is the US Deluxe Vibrato Channel model. Um, I just think it's a nice uh, pedal platform to uh, add pedals in front of it. It sounds really nice in my opinion. So the drive is down, obviously, because when nothing's engaged, you want a, you want quite a, a clean sound. So the drive's down to about 3.5 there. And I think everything else is just stock when you actually load in the amp. I don't think I've changed pretty much anything. Maybe it's load the channel volume down a little bit just to match it with my other presets. So now let's get into uh, maybe it's doing a little bit of gain staging. And uh, so the first thing I have in the chain is a Timmy pedal. So this is what it sounds like without the Timmy pedal. A little bit of break up there, so which is which is nice. It's kind of what you want, just a little bit of break up, sounding nice and fat there. So let's engage the Timmy pedal, put on the bridge, uh, the bridge pickup, and it sounds like this. So that's how it sounds, just a little bit more gain there. Nothing too crazy. But what we're going to do now is we're going to, we've put in a tube drive in front of the Timmy pedal. And what that's going to do is it's going to push this Timmy pedal into more gain. And then obviously from there into the front of the amp, providing a lot more gain. So then we've got different gain options within the preset. So we've got, without the Timmy pedal, we've got nice and clean. Clean-ish. If you're digging hard, it will break up. But if you play soft, it's going to clean up nice. Again there, the Line 6 Pod Go doing a fantastic job of replicating a ray lamp there and you can always back off your volume if you want even less gain all right so you've got lots of different options there so again we'll kick in the timmy pedal now this is how it sounds with the Timmy pedal again. Now we're going to kick in the uh, the tube the tube drive, and it's going to give us a lot more gain. What you heard in the original intro clip there. So you can see there, 
you've got a lot more gain on tap. So now we have a variety of gain options. You've got nice and clean, like a pushed clean with a little bit, a little bit more dirt. And then you've got kind of, we're going into high gain, high gain kind of territory, but it's still nice and clear, nice and thick, nice and fat, which is to me, it sounds really, really good. Now let's go to see what we've got on going after the, uh, the amp. So I've got in the low and high shelf here. What am I doing? I've got the high frequency set to um, three kilohertz and I'm pushing that just by two dB. It just gives it a little bit, of, a little bit more high end. Uh, we can turn that off just to see what it sounds like with and without. This is with. Without. In terms of delay, I am using the Vintage Digital. It's currently turned off because I'm preferring this preset actually without delay. Maybe if you go into more of a lead set and I will turn the delay on. So I will leave it in there, but just for now it's turned off. For reverb, I'm using the Plate reverb. I would tend to use the 63 Spring reverb with this kind of amp. But as you can see, probably because I've got quite a lot going on in terms of DSP in this preset and a digital delay or a delay. Um, as you can see, if I go into the delay, the reverb setting, sorry, you can see that the 63 spring and the spring reverb is blacked out. It's because the Line 6 pod goes basically just run out of DSP. So if you do want to use the 63 spring or the spring reverb, you can always just go into uh, the delay um, and just, just clear that block and that will, I'll show you. Uh, just clear that block and if you go back into the uh, reverb you can see now that the 63 spring and the spring is now available to choose so if you prefer to do that feel free but for now I'll just keep um I'll just keep the vintage digital in there so yeah that's pretty much it um I will make this preset available on my custom tone the link will be in the description below on how to download it or where to go to download I'll leave the link and uh, yeah, I am using again a third party impulse response. So what I will do is I will change this third party impulse response to the stock cab that comes with this amp um, in order for you to be able to download it. Or you can obviously feel free to use whichever third party or your favorite impulse response you wish. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Just to give you a little few more options there in terms of gain staging and tonal options. So in case, you know, you weren't aware of how that's done. And actually you can do this in real life. This is what people tend to do in real life with real pedals. You tend to gain stage um, different, you know, pedals and stuff like that. Or, or you can get drive pedals with, with, two, with two, you know, gain stages within one pedal. And this is effectively what that's doing. So hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm not sure how long this video is, hope it didn't bore you too much, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that is it, please subscribe if you haven't already, um, a like if you want to know how to help me out, um, a like will be fantastic, it just helps the YouTube algorithm, it just basically means that uh, YouTube's thinking that people's enjoying the videos, and it will share your videos more to a bigger audience, so that will really help me out, and have a great day. Hope everybody's well and safe out there. And yeah, take care. Thank you guys. See you later.